Hello everyone, here is Ali Talabi and this is the sixth module. In this module, we are going to talk about bonds and uh, bond valuation. Uh, in the first lesson, I'm going just to introduce you to the bonds, uh, what do we mean by bonds, and I will show you different terminology, different definitions. So we'll talk about coupon rate, face value, yield to matur maturity. And uh, by the end of this lesson, you understand uh, major topics related to bonds. So let's start our uh, lesson. So when we talk about bond, uh, most of times we are talking about something which is called a straight bond, which is uh, an IOU uh, that obligates the issuer of the bond to pay the holder of the bond First of all, a fixed sum of the money called the principal par value or face value and periodic interest payment, which are called coupons payment. So again, there are two types of payments. One, which is called face value or par value. Uh, that's the uh, lump sum, uh, which you will receive as a bond holder at expiry date or maturity date or at the end of uh, um, uh, expiry date of the bond and also interest payments or periodic payments which are equal payments as interest payment which you receive over the life of bond so that's a very uh, general uh, features or definition of the bond so I talk about uh, the, the coupon payment and also we talk about uh, maturity uh, date of the bond. So let me be kind of more clear on that. So when you are buying a bond, so there is a face value. Uh, by default, we usually we go with $1,000. So $1,000, that's the face value, which means at maturity, if you hold on to your bond, you will receive $1,000 at maturity. Also, you will receive some equal payments, which we call coupon payment. Coupon payments are calculated based on coupon rate and par value or the face value. For example, if the coupon rate is 10% and the par value is $1,000, uh, you will receive uh, $100 at the end of each year for uh, this example. Uh, most of times, uh, the coupon payments are on semi-annual basis which means every six months you will receive the coupon payment. So for the previous example, if the annual coupon rate is 10%, it means for each semi-annual payment, you will receive $50 uh, every six months, as I mentioned. So uh, when we talk about the face value and the coupon payments, that's what you, or you will receive uh, when you buy bonds. But for sure, you have to buy bonds first, so they are not free. Uh, most of my students, they get confused when it comes to uh, value of the bonds. The value of the bond is not the same as the face value. The value or the price of the bond might be less than the par value, greater than the par value, or or more or less same as the par value. So we'll talk about this in the next uh, lesson. But for now, remember, if you are buying the bonds less than the par value, we call that uh, discount bond, or we say bonds are sold at discount. If you pay more than face value, we say the bonds are sold at premium. And if you buy same as the face value, uh, we are saying the bonds are sold at par. Also, we have another term which we use to determine the uh, yield or uh, actually return on the bond, which is called uh, current yield. If you divide the annual coupon payment on the bond price, you can find the current yield. What is the relevance of the current yield? When it comes to uh, the total return, I will talk about current yield in more details. But remember, again, the current yield is the coupon payment, annual coupon payment, divided by uh, the value or the price of the bond. So we talk about the uh, bonds. So let me provide you a very simple example and to show you actually how the payments, the coupon payments and uh, the face value actually works um, in, the, in the simple bond. So let's assume we are talking about the three-year bond. So here is my timeline. So you're talking about 
three-year bond, which means the expiry date is happening three years from now. You can go also with the uh, timeline in terms of year. Let's say here is uh, the end of 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. So here is the beginning of 2017 or end of 2016, and this bond is going to be expired three years from now. Again, I'm going to make it very simple. We are going with annual uh, bond, annual coupon payment bond. So it's, which means you are receiving actually uh, three equal coupon payment. In, in this case, let's assume uh, your coupon rate, so I'm going to use RC, which is your coupon rate, is 10%. And the face value, as we argued uh, before, is $1,000. So from here, you can say that uh, each coupon payment should be, so your coupon payment should be 10% of $1,000, which is $100. It means that at the end of each year, you are receiving $100. So you will receive three equal $100 at the end of next three years. And not only that, you will receive uh, the face value at the end of uh, year three, which is your expiry date. So on the top of it, this $100, receive $1,000, which is the face value at the end of year three. So this is the, the cash flow or the cash flow streams you expect to receive. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, the value of the bond is not same as uh, face value. The value of the bond uh, and remember, we'll talk in lesson two regarding the valuation of the bond in more details. But for now, remember, the value of the bond is actually based on the present value of all these cash flows. In other words, you need to find the present value of all these cash flows you are going to receive in the future. So if you discount back all these cash flows and add them all, you will find the bond price. But maybe you ask me, Ali, how you are going to discount? In other words, what is the interest rate you are going to use? So that's a very good question. That's actually the expected uh, return or the expected interest rate, which is comparable with similar bonds. So based on the risk you are going to take, based on the uh, volatility of such bond, uh, you determine or you specify a specific uh, return or interest rate for this, and you are going to use that uh, interest rate as your discount rate. Later, we'll talk about this, but another term which we use for that interest term is, is YTM or yield to maturity. So what is the yield to maturity or YTM? That's your annual average return, which you should expect to return when you are holding the bond until maturity. So if you have that interest rate, you can calculate the present value. Sometimes you have the current price or the present value of the bond. You don't have the YTM. Also, I will talk about how you can uh, actually calculate the YTM when you don't have the uh, YTM. When you have the price, you don't have the interest rate, what you want to calculate. Another important term here is something which we call clean price and dirty price. Okay, so we calculated the, uh, the bond price. So let me show you this as PB. That's the bond price or the value of the bond now. And whatever price you found, the actual market price might be a bit different. Why? The major reason here is you are not paying for the clean price. You are actually uh, paying for the dirty price. Maybe say, Ali, what is the difference between clean price and dirty price? If you purchase the bond exactly at the beginning of each period, for example, here, year, year zero, one, two, three, the bond price is clean. It means there is no accumulated interest in the price of the bond. So, for example, if you purchase the uh, bond now, here, year zero, so you expect to receive three equal payments. Uh, one year from now, two years from now, three years from now. What if you just purchase the bond here after six months or just you have 
six months to the next payment. So some part of the interest is already accumulated uh, and it should uh, and should be reflected in the bond price. So now you have just six months until receiving the first payment, which is much better than waiting one year to receive the first payment. So you should pay premium for that. You should pay higher than that clean price. So if you add the interest, you should expect to receive uh, for uh, for that within six months. If you add that to the bond price, that the price should be dirty price. Again, the dirty price is the clean price plus the interest for that period of time. So you uh, actually include the accrued interest in the bond uh, price. So we talk about the present value of all these cash flows. If you refer to time value of money module five, you can tell me that this is actually the uh, annuity. This is a type of annuity because you have uh, several equal payments. So all these equal payments are uh, forming annuity. And also there is another cash flow, which is a lump sum. So you see there is $1,000 lump sum. So you can divide or break down each bond to annuity and the lump sum. So what's happening here? If you talk about the present value of these annuities and the lump sum, this present value is highly affected by the discount rate. So as you know, as we increase the discount rate or the interest rate, or as we call that YTM, yield to maturity, you are reducing the bond price. So what does it mean? It means there is an opposite relationship between the interest rates and the bond price. As the interest rates are going up, the value of the bond is actually going down. So make sure you consider that in your uh, interpretation. So the next in the next uh, session, we'll talk about the valuation of the bond and how you can find actual the bond price and what will happen if you change the interest rate and how you calculate the YTF. Till that time, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Here is Ali Talabi and talk to you soon.